Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another DC Multiverse video. I know, it's been a while. The last DC Multiverse figure I found in store was Hawkman, and then it was the Batman reanimated series figures. But, thanks to my friends over at McFarlane Toys, we're going to be taking a look straight from their video game Injustice 2 line, Brainiac. And this is a very cool looking Brainiac. It's not the country club polo shirt wearing short shorts guy. This is a, a very robotic, very sinister looking Brainiac. Even though it's based off the video game, this is a cool figure that I feel can fit with the oh, video games and comic book line. And here is the barcode as well. He is starting to hit multiple stores now, so keep an eye out if you're looking. But in the meantime... We're going to be having a blast here. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new straight from McFarlane Toys from their Injustice 2 video game toy line, Brainiac. And while I got all you Corey Burtons here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Kind of looks like Brian Cranston, right? A little bit of Patrick Stewart in some angles. Anyways, here is Brainiac, all out of the packaging. He comes with four tentacles, two of which being pointy tentacles, but they got some nice sculpting details every way around. No, they're not bendy wire, and I really think 50% of these should have been bendy wire, or at least one of them should have been bendy wire, because they're very pre-posed. Now, you could probably heat them up and realign them yourself, but this is the way they comes in the box. So, you have this Doc Ock looking tentacle, right? It's very squishy, so you're not going to be breaking anything off. But again, bendy wire would have been ideal here. That's the, the key to all this. But I'm glad he's got four tentacles. You can leave them on, leave them off. It's your choice. Brainiac, though, is awesome. It's actually a really good looking, well sculpted, well put together DC multiverse figure. And I'm impressed by that. I think that looks great. The head sculpt is amazing. He's got all his little pink diodes and whatnot. The green skin, that's definitely Brainiac. And I like how they've meshed together the costume. He does have a diaper, but he has this really cool wash all over the costume. And that's what we really need to see for these types of robotic characters. Other ones we've looked at in the past... Like Batwing, he's missing that. It just looked very plasticky. This looks like a sculpted out figure. It, it doesn't look weird. Or you're going, well, this doesn't really look like a collector's line of action figures. But you got the portholes on the back, of course. In terms of the articulation, this is one heck of an upgraded McFarlane Toys figure. He can look all the way up despite having a little collar in the back. That's nice to see, especially if you want to get Brainiac flying or... Looking at Superman flying at him, that whole shebang. Anyways, with the arms, they will get hindered a little bit by the shoulder pads, so they're not going to go directly straight up, but you can get him off to the side. He's got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, everything that you could want, especially, that's a pretty good range right there. I totally appreciate that. One thing I would have loved to have seen with this type of character would have been swap out hands. Two open hands. Maybe uh, an item holding hand, right? That would have been cool. He does have a great ab crunch as well. I like to see that. Again, the diaper doesn't hinder it. It doesn't require a belt to separate it. I think it blends and meshes perfectly with his abdomen and everything that it has going on. Now, you do get plenty of leg articulation. Nothing hindered there. You have double jointed knees, which, hey, that totally looks good. And then he does have rocker. Although you kind of have to move it around and figure it out because it has an extra thick kind of ankle ball joint to it. But he has toe as well. The arms, the hands, everything looks really good. I'm really stoked that we got a really nice looking Brainiac to now go with our villains, especially Superman villains. But with the tentacles, you simply just pop them in. You could put them any which way. It's sky's the limit, right? You can customize which tentacle goes where. I don't think that they look good. I don't think that it really adds to the figure. When you move it around, which you can twist them while they're ported in, sure, you can make it work. You can even put them all the way flat on the back, right? That way he kind of looks like he's dragging some tentacles. But my advice would be probably leave them off or try heating them up and reforming them 
see how it goes for you because yeah the tentacles while it's a nice idea he does come across as very dr octopus but then having some sort of bendy wire in them again even just half of them being bendy wire really would have let you do something with them otherwise it looks like he's trying to hook up his n64 and he just fell into a pile of wires behind the television. One thing though, that if you have an extra DC Multiverse flight stand, you can put him into it and you can have some fun with taking photos. Like it looks like he dropped down out of the ceiling. See, my version of Brainiac exists in Superman the Animated Series. That's my ideal version of Brainiac. However, I do like this version when it comes to the more DC Multiverse comic book line and he fits well and scales well with the heroes. He's a little bit taller as he is with some of the villains. So we're starting to get that Legion of Doom situation kind of going, right? I got Joker, we have Sinestro, and now we have Brainiac. So again, I think he fits well. I think he looks great, minus the tentacles, of course. I think that that was kind of an afterthought and wish that they would have just done a little bit more with it. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Injustice 2 video game. Brainiac. And again, thank you to McFarland Toys for setting this out for the purposes of this video. Overall, it's a pretty great Brainiac. I'm just glad you could take the tentacles out. They're not terrible, but they're not great at the same time. Give them a flight stand, make them look all cool, take some photos, and I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, keep bringing on the villains. That's something the DC Multiverse is sorely lacking. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.